There were storms of protest coast to coast today, marking two months since the beginning of the Occupy demonstrations. Organizers called this a national day of action. In Los Angeles, several hundred protesters marched through downtown. At least two dozen were arrested. In Portland, Oregon, protesters held a sit-in on the steel bridge before police dragged them off. And in Washington, they targeted the key bridge, blocking traffic for a time. The biggest rally was in New York City, where it all began, and Jim Axelrod is with those demonstrators tonight. Jim? Well, Scott, organizers promised tens of thousands of demonstrators disrupting business as usual here in New York. Frankly, we've seen a fraction of that number, closer to a thousand. It got bloody in lower Manhattan today as police arrested more than 175 protesters. In Zuccotti Park, a police officer was slashed in a confrontation with a demonstrator. Buddy Bolton was a witness. And the police just stormed in and started grabbing people and throwing people to the, to the ground. We are the 99%. To mark two months since the start of the Occupy Wall Street movement, demonstrators promised to shut down Wall Street. They sat down in several intersections of the narrow streets of the city's financial district and were arrested for not staying on the sidewalk. But it was business as usual on Wall Street. No trading was disrupted. Protesters also threatened to disrupt subway travel. We witnessed a handful, not the thousands organizers promised. Do you think you can gauge the health of the movement based on a day like today? Uh, yeah, I think this is a big day as far as the movement goes. I think it's a, it's a referendum on uh, whether the movement's going to grow stronger or peter out. Despite today's arrests and new restrictions prohibiting tents and sleeping bags in the park, demonstrators like Angelina Jimenez are defiant. The more they keep taking away, the louder we're going to be. You can knock us down, we're just going to keep rising back up. Perhaps, but in New York City at least, protesters are running the risk of alienating those they most need to support them. I don't know, I had an early day. It was kind of looking forward to some peace and quiet. Now the main event is tonight a rally scheduled for the Brooklyn Bridge, which of course would disrupt rush hour again. Organizers are talking about tens of thousands of protesters. However, so far, Scott, the number of protesters is in the hundreds. Jim, thanks very much.